Welcome to Science Olympiad at Home. Hi, my name is Sherry Haug and I'm the Elementary Director for Science Olympiad. Today we're going to do an elementary event called Metric Mastery. In Metric Mastery, in our event rules, the rules state that participants will have the opportunity to practice estimating then measuring everyday objects. Well, we don't have a scale here at home that will help us do that, so we're going to change our objective for the day just a little bit to we will have the participants use nine everyday objects that you can find in your house and then rank order them from lightest to heaviest and then use a homemade balance scale to check their findings. So for today's event, we decided to use a hanger. We used a plastic hanger because it's the strongest, but we decided that this worked best because this gives the action of a fulcrum, which is part of what a balance scale is going to be made from. So we used a couple different materials. First of all, we used yarn. And after we used yarn, we decided that that wasn't a very good material because yarn does stretch a little bit. But for the purposes of my example, we're going to show you the yarn. So the first thing I used was a bowl. That made a lot of sense to me because a bowl would hold any materials that I put in there. And I put two hole punches in my bowl. Well, look what happens. You put anything in there and it just automatically comes pouring out. So then I used a paper plate and I put three holes in my paper plate so it would hold it more level. When I put this in there, it's still not very strong. That, that cardboard is not a strong enough material to always hold the objects that I'm putting in there. So if you see my example that I've started to make here, we settled on plastic cups that we put three holes in. Again, we want it to be balanced. We don't want it to become a pourer. And we switched to a nylon string that wasn't going to have the same kind of stretchability as yarn is. But you know what? This is just your at-home science event. If yarn is all you have or really, really stretchy string, that's okay too. You're just going to use the materials that you have at home. So I put three holes in my cup and I tied them onto my hanger. Let me show you what I did. When you get your materials, they don't have to be matching cups. As long as when you tie them on, the bottom of your hanger remains flat and level to the ground, this cup could be way down here and this cup could be hanging up here. It doesn't matter. You just don't want your cups to be tied on so that your bottom of your hanger is not level to the ground. That would mean that one is already starting out heavier than the other. So this one I've already tied on, and look, it's not level, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be tied on perfectly. I went ahead and I cut another piece of string that's the exact same length as the other three over here so that I would have an example of how long the strings should be. So I'm gonna cut two more that match exactly and I'm going to punch three holes that are basically equidistant from one another. Additionally, I want these holes to be equidistant from the top of the cup to the bottom of the cup. I'm going to take each of these strings, put it through the hole, tie it on tight, do the second one, and three. Additionally, if you can see, my ropes are no longer exactly the same length. That's absolutely fine. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to tie this on here such that these will be equidistant. Let's see if they, if when I hang them up here on my example, if that is flat and even. And if you can see, it absolutely is. Now, you may not have the same hanging device that I have, but what you're going to use is a door handle. So the objects we're going to use today are all food objects because they have the weight on them already. In a science competition, we would bring in other objects that we had weighed beforehand, but we don't know how much these objects weigh. So the only way to know if you're correct in your rank order is to know the exact weight of the objects going in. So you're going to ask 
someone to get nine objects out of the food pantry. And I would suggest that you don't do any more than 200 grams. Now we call this metric mastery because we want you to do everything in metric system because that's what a scientist is going to do and that's how our competitions are held. But if you decide that you wanna just do this in ounces, that's absolutely fine. About seven ounces is going to be equal to about 200 grams and you really don't wanna go up much more than that only because your balance that you've made is not gonna be able to hold too much more than that. So you're gonna ask that person to take a piece of masking tape and to cover the weight of every single object that you are weighing so that you can't see that during the competition. I have masking tape right here. I can still see through it. So maybe you wanna put masking tape on and then some Sharpie or maybe some colored masking tape. That's up to you. So let's talk a little bit about the food I've picked. I'm gonna remove <clears throat> this piece of masking tape and I'm gonna talk about the weights of the objects. So the weight of this is 24 grams and this taco seasoning is 28 grams. When I hold them in my hands, it is hard to tell the difference between which one is heavier and which one is lighter. It's, it, it's, it's impossible. So this is where our balance scale is going to come into play. When we put these two objects in our balance scale, we're going to be able to tell which one is the heavier object and which one is the lighter object. In addition, we're gonna have some heavy objects we're going to or heavy that are big. We're going to be heavy that are smaller containers. Some things that are a large container but light in weight. All of these will help the participants figure out in their heads the difference between what something looks like and what its actual weight is. So I had my children pull nine objects out of the pantry and they ended up covering them with blue tape. We realized you could see through the masking tape. And now I'm going to hold them in my hand and I'm going to try to decide which one is heaviest and which one is lightest and rank order them from lightest on this end to heaviest on this end. So right now, this is heavier than the ramen soup. I'm going to put this right there. So I went ahead and I wrote down the rank order of how I think these will fall in lightest to heaviest with the taco seasoning at the beginning lightest and the applesauce at the heaviest. My son suggested that you could actually write the number on the package with a Sharpie as well, or even on the masking tape, which is absolutely fine. I put a one on my taco seasoning, I go through and write all my numbers, and end up with a nine on my applesauce. This actually might be easier, because that way when you're actually putting them on the balance scale, you'll be able to know which one is the lightest and which one was the heaviest when you originally rank ordered them. So right before we went to weigh everything, I just wanted to see how, how I did in rank ordering. So I pulled back all the tape and I realized that the cinnamon says it only weighs 42 grams. Well, that's hard to believe because the ramen is about 39 grams, but they just don't weigh anything close. And then we realized it's because of the container. We know that the weight is the weight of the food inside of it, but we weren't thinking this morning when everyone was grabbing food that the glass container would add so much weight to this object. Learn from our mistakes. Don't use objects that are in glass containers or metal containers. Everything needs to be either shrink wrapped or wrapped in cardboard or other kinds of paper. This is gonna look very different at, with the at home version as opposed to what you do in a competition or even at school. You're gonna decide what you want your balance scale to look like. Look on the internet, there's lots of patterns for them. You're going to weigh objects. Again, you can use standard measurement or you can use metric measurement. That's up to you. You're going to refine your balance scale. You're going to refine your objects. You could do this activity over and over. After you do it, you pick out the pantry items and have your parents do it. See how much they know how much things weigh. Any way you do this event, have a great time. Thanks so much. What are you eating back there? Whatever you gave her. No, well maybe. But this is where our balance scale is going to come into is going to. What was that smile? It's okay. I'll cut it. Say balance scale. Wait. Balance scale weight. <laughs> you're going to de, you're going to blah, 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 blah. spend Science Olympiad at home. Be sure to check out our website at www. SOINC.org 
slash elementary. See you next time.